Hey everyone, Buddy here from the Denman Homestead. Home Depot just got done delivering something for the barn. Something that's going to be a lot of work, but I'm still excited to get started with it. And it is right here behind me. There it is. 50 sheets of drywall, which according to my calculations is exactly how many we need to finish the barn drywall. Oh, there's a loud noise over at the greenhouse. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna walk back over here. Also, wanted to show you my shirt. I think I've talked about it in a couple of videos now, but I hadn't showed it yet. This shirt describes me to the T. Leftover parts, proof I made it better. Uh, Steph is yelling at me, yes? Okay. Um, we have to go feed the animals at the sanctuary while Ellie and Megan are on uh, their vacation. So we are going to head that way. Okay, baby, yeah. Clean, clean off. There you go. There you go. It's all gone. It's done. Okay. All right. Don't bite me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one is not finished. <laughs> You're gonna knock them off. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh my Sorry, you're Come on. Over here. Come on. Okay. There not you me. go. Not there you, you guys. Go. Not you. There you, you. go. Not you. There you go. I tried. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. No, that's not, that's not for you. Everyone gets a bottle, okay? Look at my finger. You can act like it. You better hurry up, little one. I'm not gonna be able to trick it for long. Hey. <laughs> a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, you can have the very last bits. Okay. All right. I'm gonna wash these. Okay. Everyone's had a bottle. And Luna already got attacked by this very mean bird. Poor Luna girl. <laughs> Quit your hissing. You go hiss somewhere else. Okay, baby goats, you are all fed up. Yes, you are. Now we're gonna move on to the chickens. Go feed the chick chicks. Go feed the chick chicks. Three cucumbers. Cucumbers is a good snack for these chickens. It is. All right, I gotta go wrangle chickens too. There's chickens over here that are out. All these chickens need to go back in. Okay. Go back in here into this coop. Oh, into this little thing. Okay. All right. Let's round up some chickens. Cornholio. Hey, Cornholio. You hungry too? You want some food? You want some feed?
You want some loves? You want some loves? Goat, baby goat said, Me, I fits, I sits. Mm -hmm. Let me fill that red bucket up. Okay. Yeah. That's how it fills up, it sprays out like that. She didn't want to be on camera. No, <laughs> Getting some loving until the camera came out. Okay. Is that it? Is that everyone? Everyone. Everyone's are done. fed and watered? Yep, chickens are wrangled. All right. Ready, Luna? Let's go. All right. Feed up is done at the sanctuary. I'm gonna show you something I did yesterday. It's pretty cool. So we got all that free mulch, if you remember back um, a couple months ago, I think it was, they were doing tree trimming and mulching all through Plum Grove. Steph flagged them down, asked if they could dump any of the mulch that they wanted to get rid of. They said, sure, and they dumped two massive piles of pine mulch. So, because the goal in the back of the garden, which was going to be a pumpkin patch, cornfield, that kind of thing, um, that test last year failed. We, the pumpkins didn't survive the chickens and the corn did not really produce because of how wet the back area of the garden was. So we decided, what if we turned it into a vineyard? But we wanted to mulch the entire thing for one whole year, one whole season, before we decided to put grapes and things in the ground. But check it out. I brought almost all, we still have a pretty big pile of mulch, almost all of the mulch back here and hand raked it. I tried to spread it out with a tractor. It wasn't very pretty or efficient. So I just hand raked it all, but man, it is completely mulched over with all that pine mulch. This is the garden, the soon-to-be vineyard, so that's pretty neat. But yeah, I think it looks great. A couple little spots of grass kind of sticking out that I can spot fill, but um, it's looking good. I had the chicken mister running for the chickens for a little bit because it is so hot and humid today. But then we just, after they got to cool off in the misted area, we um, let them free range. So they're out free ranging now. And I guess I have to work up the, the uh, strength to begin this sheetrock. Because it's not gonna get done if it doesn't get started. Steph brought a lot of the sand that we had over here she did some foam. You know, we've been we've been asking for some opinions from you guys on how to fix this erosion issue we have under the slab. A lot of feedback on the foam and, and a lot on the sand as well, so we did both. We shot foam in some of the really bad spots underneath and then backfilled everything with sand. This side is like level with the ground. There's hardly no issues at all. It's really just over here. So we will see. 
we get some big heavy rainstorms, we'll see how the foam and the sand together hold up. <sighs> All right. It's a million degrees outside and we are going to go collect bees because there's a box still by Daniels from the flood uh, when Steph tried to capture some bees that were hanging around. Got ran over by a cow. Yeah, when the cow came running, she had to use her bee suit to get the cow wrangled. So I'm gonna go get the bee box, check it out, see if there's anything in it, get it out of the way so Daniel can mow <coughs> and do all the stuff he's gotta do. Oh it's hot. We should have just done this naked. Naked beekeepers. Naked beekeepers. Yeah. Another channel idea. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, I brought one. Put it on the smallest entrance, smallest side. Is this right? Yeah. Be careful not to squish them. They'll get mad. You might have to rip that grass out of the way. There you go. Yeah, you're gonna have to lift lift up the box a little bit. There you go. Now take a chunk of grass and put it in that hole so they won't fly out whenever we the little the little entrance. This little hole down here. Oh. Kind of fold it up. Yeah, there you go. Just shove it on in there. Okay, now the hole's plugged. Now, you know you gotta just lift it up all together. Okay. Whew, it's hot. Okay. All right, you gonna hold on to it? Yeah. All right, let's go. And we're off. I'm gonna try to go slow, okay? Okay, I got it pretty tight. I mean Probably good on speed. Okay. I think it's really Alright, so we're just moving out that empty frame box. Now we don't know if this hive is gonna actually survive. We don't know how many bees are in there. We just know that there were some. So just leave that in. Small? Yeah, it's fine. Hive has a few bees coming and going. It's pretty quiet. Yeah, I'm sure it's only the bottom box that has any bees in it right now. You just want to take that purple one off? Yeah. Bring my hive tool. I might have a little, oh, I have a little one. Check your pocket. Oh, you got it? There's some up here in the second box. Oh, man. We got worms. Start this hive over with some new frames. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we haven't really opened them up since the flood, so don't really. We just kind of put them back together to see what they would do. They're building out comb though. It's 
scissors. Handful of bees in there. I wonder if they have a queen. I doubt it. They may have tried to hatch one out. We wouldn't know unless it got into the bottom box. We didn't bring a smoker, so. Oh, they don't seem to be uh, annoyed. Not really much of a hive to try and defend them. Yeah. Oh, you're about to pull the bottom. They got it glued pretty good, huh? Mm -mm. You just checking on that? Look, one of the bees came out of their hole. This one? This one right here. The new one that we just put down. Oh. It just came out. He's like, where the heck am I? Oh, roach. Roach? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the roach is like those empty boxes. This is a dead hive. Yep. Completely abandoned. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Smells like honey though. Yeah, but probably not when it's 700 degrees outside. Yeah. You want to bring those both boxes back? Yeah. Our other hive up there is still good. No, it didn't flood. Yeah, the one by Breeze? Yeah, the one by the horses. It flooded? No, the, there, no water got in it. How? It didn't get high enough. It it's was definitely the sand. But it's no higher than our, our stand here. No, it is. It's on a hill. Oh, yeah, okay. I said that. No water got it to it. Hmm, interesting. Well, we'll just keep an eye on these two hives and see what happens. This one still is very, very is struggling, but looks like it has bees in it. We just don't know if they've hatched a queen yet. Keep an eye out. We are two sheets, two sheets to the wind. No, we have two sheets up and we are also insulating as we put the sheets up, but we're almost out of insulation. The reason why we have to do that is because we can't really access it. Yeah, there's currently no attic access. We've talked about doing a little door up, like cutting it through in the that top area, cutting it through the metal and accessing it from where the RV is. But right now there is no see, uh, attic access. So, Two, we got, we're going to make some other cuts, but like I said, we're out of insulation, so it'll be more Home Depot trips, but we're going to wrap this one up right here. So thank you so much for joining us, and we'll catch you on the next one. Save me. Bye. Save me. On the Denman homestead, where the sun sets golden in the west, we live in harmony with nature. Doing what we love best From the garden to the kitchen And the bees inside their hive On the Denman homestead Come along and plant, nourish, thrive